I don't even know where to start this vlog. So basically I have just spent the past two and a half to three hours at Spotlight. <sighs> Let me just show you something. There seems to be something missing from my sewing room. Yes, that's right folks. This empty space here is where my sewing machine belongs. Where is my sewing machine, you may ask? Well, <laughs> let me tell you a little story. Okay, so like I said, I have just spent the past two and a half to three hours at Spotlight. So my sewing machine that used to be here was a Singer Start sewing machine. It's basically, it's the basic model of a sewing machine. I got it in, uh, sorry, I got it in February. So it is now September. I've had the sewing machine for almost seven months and now it is just not working properly. So I had to take it back to Spotlight. I had rung a uh, sewing machine mechanic thinking that maybe my sewing machine just needed a service which I thought was unusual because like I said it's only been seven months and I haven't like used it every single day continuously for seven months. So I rang a guy about getting it serviced and his starting rate, starting rate is $140 just to basically look at it and kind of diagnose it. That's more than what I paid for the sewing machine. So he suggested that it would still be under warranty and to take it back to Spotlight and see what they could do. So that's what I did. I took it back to Spotlight this morning. I went there nice and early thinking that, yeah, it'll be quick and simple. They'll have a look at it. They'll be able to tell me what's wrong with it. It's just not sewing properly. And I've had this issue before and I adjusted the, um, the tension. I've changed the needle, changed bobbins, changed thread done everything I could. Um, it seemed to be good for a while, then it stopped working again. Now it's skipping thread, it's gathering thread, it's... Anyway, I took it back to Spotlight. Um, this really, really helpful lady was having a look at it. She test ran it for me and she did everything she could think of as well. And of course she's no mechanic. Um, and she's like, no, there's definitely something wrong with this sewing machine. We're going to have to send it back to Singer. So <laughs> then she's like, do you have your receipt? And of course I have every other receipt except for that receipt. I went back through my bank statements and I had checked prior to going to Spotlight that they do accept bank statements as warranty. And she said more than happy to accept that as warranty, but Singer themselves would not accept it. So there was my second problem. So I ended up with my bank statement, which was no good. She checked my VIP uh, card, and of course, it went back to the 1st of March. I purchased my sewing machine on the 26th of February, so just a few days out. She gave me a number to contact Spotlight themselves, and um, that took me ages to get through. Once I got through, they were very, very helpful. They went through, found my receipt, but then they said that I would have, they would have to lodge it through IT or um, I can't remember exactly who they said but they had to lodge it to be able to get the receipt. Um, so then I was on hold again and back off hold and on hold and then they said that they would email it to me. So I ended up having to leave my sewing machine at Spotlight and like I said the people at Spotlight have been extremely helpful. The lady at Spotlight said that it would be a minimum, absolute minimum of two weeks and that would be basically Two weeks wasn't realistic either because today is Wednesday. Um, she said the sewing machine, by the time I got my receipt, sent it back to her, the sewing machine wouldn't even get picked up until next week on Monday at the earliest. Um, and then she said by the time it gets sent down to Melbourne, they have a look at it and diagnose what the problem is, whether I get a refund, they fix my sewing machine, they send me a new sewing machine, she's not sure, she couldn't give me that answer. She said it's probably going to be more like a month without my sewing machine. So the moral of this story is we are doing an unboxing. I bought a new sewing machine. I really didn't want to. I didn't really, really did not want to um, because like I said, my sewing machine is only seven months old, but I also can't go without a sewing machine for at least a month. So I now have a new Singer sewing machine and I thought we could do an unboxing together. I got the Singer uh, Heavy Duty, that's what this lady recommended, that was within my price um, bracket. It was 40% off. 
Yes, 40% off. So I did get a really good bargain. I ended up paying $400 because I got an extended warranty. It's another two years. And the $40 actually is basically free because you get $30 to spend on fabric. Uh, you get, I think it was 40% off on any Singer machine accessories. So like bobbins, needles, um, things like that. The extension, I don't know if this one has the extension bar, but an extension bar if you can get that. Or any other kind of um, machine accessories. And then you also get a free pattern with any purchase, which I probably will never claim on because... I don't use patterns. So yeah, I thought we could unbox this sewing machine together. Okay, so I was kind of hoping to get the next model down because it was like, I don't know, 60 or $80 cheaper than this particular one, but um, they didn't have any in stock. So I went with this one. It's got extra stitches or something, which I'm not gonna use anyway. But, you know, like I said, it was $40 off, so it was a bargain anyway. Oh, cute. It comes with a little bag. A little sewing machine cover. Oh, that's cute. I didn't really like the grey sewing machine, but um, that's the only colour this one comes in, apparently. Okay, so with most sewing machines, you obviously get the sewing machine. You get a little starter kit. So in here is like your quick unpick. You got a couple of bobbins. This one looks like it comes with three bobbins. It comes with a zipper foot, some needles, the little duvalacky that undoes the screws and a few other bits and pieces. Manual and warranty book. And I also have put my receipt in an extremely safe spot so I don't lose it again. <laughs> so, this is how it comes out of the box. Like I said, it is grey. And it comes with a little sewing machine cover, which is super cute. And I'll probably never use it, but you never know. So we have the little foot pedal as well. Uh, this has way more knobs and everything than my last sewing machine. So like I said, the last one was a thing of start, a very basic sewing machine. This one looks way more complicated, but we're going to have fun testing it out. Okay, here's a close-up of what the sewing machine looks like. So the foot lever is at the back, whereas on the thing of start it is here, which is not a problem. You've got your reverse here is your tension, so this is the cotton tension, needle position, and the width. I am definitely going to go through the manual on this one. Then we have the cotton goes here. This is where you put the bobbin. No, it's not. This is where you put the bobbin to wound it up. Yeah, and this time the bobbin goes here rather than in this part like on the singer start. Okay, so before I actually get started on setting this up and having like a little test play and everything, I thought I would show you what my sewing machine was doing. So like I said, this is the bottom stitch and it's actually, although it's like quite tensioned, this is on satin by the way, um, the stitch itself is pretty good on the bottom. It is missing some stitches like you can see here it kind of misses but on this side you probably can't really tell it's like basically a straight line and you can actually feel the bottom stitches coming through on the top side here's another example so here 
right here you can see where it is missing a stitch and again a straight line. I think I can almost probably pull yeah, I can pull the string, the thread straight through, which you should not be able to do, obviously. It's like I didn't even sew it. And the zigzag is no better. Like, look at that. It looks okay on this side, except for it's pulling the fabric through. So it's all lumpy. And yeah, that side, like you can see here, it's terrible. Anyway, it will be interesting to see what Singer says when they actually get my sewing machine. So I will give you an update, like, in a, probably a month or so as to what's actually happening with my sewing machine. But yeah, in the meantime, let's have a setup of this and a practice run. Oh my god. Okay guys, so I'm just going through the instruction manu manual at the moment. It has been years, I mean like years and years since I've used any kind of more complicated, more complex sewing machine. Anyway, so I was just going through the manual and could this machine get any better? It has an automatic needle threader. Oh, oh my God. Honestly, that has like, I'm blown away by that. I had no idea, but I'm so excited to try that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna set this sewing machine up and have a go. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to use the automatic needle thread. I'm just reading the instructions now. So it looks like there's a little lever back here that we kind of just pull down and all lock into position. It's so around there and then in front. And it's through. Okay. I don't know if that's any easier. Maybe, maybe once I've done it a few times, it might be easier. But I don't really find threading needles that hard. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit fiddly. It's funny because sometimes it's really easy, sometimes it's not. So I don't know. Anyway, I might just give it another go and see if it makes it any easier. Okay. Okay, that was a little bit easier, but I still don't know. I guess if you had bad eyesight or, you know, your fingers are a little bit shaky, this would be really good. Okay, so this is the bobbin case here. I still have a few of my bobbins from my old machine that is getting repaired or whatever is happening with it. So I already have one threaded up, so I am just going to use that but I'm gonna take this one out first. So this machine came with one in the machine and then another three in the pack. And then it also came with a pack of needles and there was already a needle in the machine as well. I keep reaching for the lever for the foot here, but it's back here. I don't know if I can get used to that. It might take me a while. Anyway, let's see if I've actually threaded this up correctly. Okay, so machine is all threaded. Okay, so I have the machine all threaded through and I'm just going to do a test run on 
some scrap material. I'm going to leave the settings all the way they came, so just the manufacturing settings. So the width is at zero at the moment, needle position is in the center, the tension's on four, and the length is about one and a half. So I'll just test run that and I'll adjust as I need to. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. This is what I just stitched in green. So the stitching length is very, very tiny, so I am going to have to adjust a few things. Okay, so just uh, adjusting the length a little bit has made a huge difference and I think that is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay guys, so I am so happy with this new sewing machine. I am going to play around with it a little bit more today and then I'm going to get stuck into my Christmas stock. I have a few fabrics and I'm super excited to make some Grinch scrunchies. Anyway, so this is the first stitch I did. As you can see, it was pulling a bit. I think that the, the tension was a little bit too tight and that the length was too thin. So I'm much happier with this second stitch. It looks great on both sides. So yeah, I'm so happy with this sewing machine so far. Like I said, yeah, I'm just gonna need to play around with it a bit more, which is always fun. And I'll keep you updated with what happens to my Singer Start sewing machine. Anyway, if you liked this video and you wanna see more like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below as it really helps support my channel and it also lets me know the kinds of videos you guys like to see. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.